Hello, my name is Alex and today I will be showing you how to create a reading comprehension activity on the smart board using Balloon Pop. Here is what the finished item will look like. The first thing you need to do when setting up this type of activity is to find a text. The one I chose is about sleep. The second step, which is optional but makes a big difference, is to insert a background image to your presentation. So if I go on Google and write sleeping baby, because they are much cuter in images, and then in the search tool, I want images labeled for reuse. And this is the image I chose. Then we copy the image and we paste it on our slide. And then let's just resize it and lock it in place so we don't have any troubles with it later. There you go. The third step is to write the title of your activity on your Smart Notebook page. So like I said, mine is about sleep. Now, let's put this in white and underline. Okay, for the fourth step, we need to add the link to our text to the page. We first need to copy the link. So here, copy. Then we can either click on insert and then link or we can just paste the link to our slide using control. There. So we can now open the link anytime by clicking on the globe. Okay, so now the fifth step is to add our questions. The first thing to do is to write the answer and lock it so that we don't move it accidentally. So you should have your questions and your answers ready before you do the activity. So the answer to my first question is yes. And then I'll put it in white again. And I will lock it in place. There you go. Now we can add our balloon. To get it, you go on the Smart Notebook Gallery and search for balloon. Pop. You then click on Interactive and Multimedia. Here is our balloon. You can add the balloon to the slide by using the drop down menu here and clicking on insert or you can just drag it where you want it on your slide. There is no way to control what color the balloons will be and know also that the next time you open this file the balloons might not be the same color. So balloons are a little bit trickier to use than other objects in the smart notebook each time you will click on the balloon, it will pop like this. If you click on it again, the color comes back. To edit the text in your balloon, you need to click on the triangle with the arrows in the corner of the balloon. The balloon becomes dark blue when you're in the edit mode. We can then 
write our question. Okay, so is it possible to sleep with your eyes open? You need to click on the triangle with the arrows to exit the editing mode. Your balloon will not be dark blue anymore. To resize your balloon, you need to click on the triangle with the diagonal lines. Like this. There you go. Okay, so now that we've put the balloon in front of the answer, so that when the balloon pops, we will be able to see the answer. And voila, one question done. You can lock the balloon in place using a left click and then lock, lock in place. It won't prevent your balloon from popping. If you want to first write in the question and then the answer, you can do it, but you will need to change the order of your objects by pushing the answer back or the students will be able to see the answer in front of your balloon. Here's an example. In the gallery, so if I had my balloon first, and then write the answer, let's say the answer is yes, if I try, to do this, it just disappears. But if I say yes, and then put the balloon in front, see we can see the answer. So you need to take this, order, and then send backward. And then this way, it's behind your balloon. I don't recommend using a lot of balloons in the same slide because the software tends to freeze when there are too many. Keeping in mind the level of your students, I also suggest that you use different types of questions, like a mix of yes-no, WH, and true or false questions. So this is what it looks like with many balloon pop items. You can ask the students to answer the questions individually while they are reading the text, or you can use it as memory game once the students are familiar with the text. If you use it as a memory game, you can also have your students work in team and use a heads together structure to complete the activity, for example. So that is all. I hope it helped. Here is a little reminder of the steps you needed to set up the activity. And this is Alex. Thank you for watching.